Hello everyone. I am Mr. K. Parshita Babu from CSC department. I am going to uh, deal your course. Our present course is Programming for Problem Solving using C. Programming for Problem Solving using C. In this, uh, we are going to learn about the C language. C language. What is a C language? How do we execute? How do we write C language programs? And how do we execute the C language programs? Right? So, at the very beginning of this course, let me have to see how many units exist in our syllabus. In our syllabus, we are having five units, five units, each unit contain three chapters, each unit contain three chapters. First we have five unit, from that five unit, for every unit has three chapters, different chapters. Let, uh, we have to give all the chapters details and all the content which are available in, your, in the particular course. Don't worry. Okay. So our subject simple is programming for problem solving. Programming, programming for problem solving. Programming for problem solving using C language. Using the C language. Okay. So uh, let start. Programming for problem solving. Unit number one syllabus. Unit number one syllabus is this. In unit number one, we have three chapters. Chapter number one, introduction of computers. Chapter number two, introduction of uh, the C language. And the chapter number three, structure of a C program. Structure of a C program. Each and every topic we have to discuss. And we have to write programs and execute how to execute the programs like this. Introduction of computers contains computer systems, computing environment, computer languages, okay, and uh, creating and running the programs which are available here, and computer numbers, numbering system, storing integers, storing real numbers, all the real numbers and integer numbers are storing introduction to the C language so background of C language C programs identifiers what identified types variables what is a variable constants input output let me see every topic which are available which are available in a particular C language that is simply called Programming for problem solving using C, PPSC, PPS subject. Let me see the applications of C programming in different domains or the branches. Different domains and the branches. What are the applications of C language? What applications are available with the help of C language? Why do we learn the C language? What is the previous use of this language in different eras, that is, in the particularly different domains and the different branches, how much C language it uses. See, in IT industry, information technology industry, in IT industry, the C language will be designed for Oracle database systems, in Oracle systems and Designing of operating systems like the Linux, Unix and Windows operating systems. And in information technology industry, browsers also will be designed with the help of C language. That is Chrome. Chrome browser and Firefox browser. Those browsers are also designed with the help of uh, this language. And also some games. Games, computer games, games related games are designed 
some languages which are developed with the C language only is Java, Python languages are developed and the 3D games, 3D tools are also developed for the, with the C language and Microsoft Office also developed utility software is also developed with the C language. C language application in IT industry, information technology industry that specially developed are the uses used in database systems, operating systems, browsers, games, languages, uh, utility softwares also used in especially for IT department. And electronics engineering, electronics engineering, we simply call triple E. IT sector we use there in triple E. How do we use triple E? USB thermometers. In USB thermometers, we use the embedded tiny microprocessing systems also using C language. C compiler converter, C language statements and binary coded and which microprocessor understand. Microprocessor understandable codes also developed with the help of C language. C language. C language is a uh, Hardware. Every statement makes a temporary circuit connection inside microprocessor. Inside microprocessor connections are also there. For every connection, you may have to transfer that connection as to the code, coded language. In embedded systems, we use C language. In microcomputer systems and microcontroller systems also using especially for the electronics and electrical engineering stream. C language is very important for the IT industries and electronics and electrical industries. Let we have to see another electrical engineering, electrical engineering, especially in electrical engineering also use C language. In electrical engineering, how to use C language? LED programming, light emitting diode programming. For programming light emitting diode, you may also see you know, C language. Easily written using embedded C language. And also many electronic devices such as washing machines, embedded systems, mobile phones, digital cameras and so on. All embedded systems are also working with the help of C language are designed for the C language. With the Microcontrollers are designed with the C language. All are electrical engineering stream using C language, right? And IO technology, IOT technology. Okay. So unlike which uh, uses some Arduino applications based Arduino applications also developed with the help of C language. Okay. C language may also used for the IT industries, used for the electronics and electrical engineering and also using for the electrical, electronics and engineering. Okay. See, in the mechanical engineering, how do you use mechanical engineering, uh, the C language, mechanical engineering. Okay. So that mechanical engineering, Manufacturing purpose, 3D manufacturing, mechanical engineering uses 3D manufacturing technology, automobiles technology, robotics technologies. Uh, to communicate with any device, we need to have software to communicate for that driven. MISRA technology, motor, industry, software, reliability association. MISRA technology. In the technology, also using C language. Okay, C code NASA Jet Population Library is also using some C language here. And also, this 2004 technology will be represented. This 2 technology will be represented. Okay, so so this is one kind of <coughs> use of uh, C language in mechanical. Next, C language in the civil engineering. C language uses in the civil engineering. How C language is used in civil engineering? 2D drafting. For 2D drafting, use a C language. For 3D 
modeling animations for uh, scheduling structure design hydraulic design surveying calculation purpose also using c language in civil engineering also using c language okay so it industries uses c language electrical and electronic electronics and electrical engineering and mechanical engineering civil engineering all the people are using c language for that we have to learn the c language in different uh, domain different uh, branches yes right the history of uh, computers <coughs> let me have to see the history of the computers what is the history of a computer history of a computer what is the history history of a computer see the history what are computers the first computers were people what computers the first computers were people that is electronic computers and the earlier machine mechanical computers we were given the same because they performed the work that had previously been assigned to people that work has to be assigned to the people for the previous uh, uh, one actually before going to designing a computer what is the first computer people or the first computers right computer was originally a job title it was used to describe the human beings work human beings work okay so whose job it was to perform the repetitive calculations what the major use of the computer which performs the repetitive works repetitive works if same work is done by the human being that is difficult to do if it if one work has to be given to one person the same work has to be done with perfectly two times four times ten times if hundred times that work can be given to the person so he is unable or she is unable to do that work repeatedly but computer can work repeatedly that work right so without any hesitation required to the computer such things a navigational tables time charts and planetary positions for uh, different uh, astronomical elements okay almanacs that is astronomical almanacs is the one book that is designed by the us us every year and there uh, they might write some of uh, related information about that right the first system abacus system see here the first system is abacus abacus system abacus that abacus was an early aided for the mechanical computations abacus system its only value is that it aids the memory of the human performing the calculations a skilled abacus operator can work in addition and subtraction before designing the computer language the first language they have abacus language abacus language we have to move some uh, uh, balls to up and down we calculate some information that information will be calculated only the addition and the subtraction okay so the speed will increase or if you give some multiplication or division that will work slow that will work slow so abacus calculation so before introducing the computer abacus calculation is there that abacus calculation will be only used to calculate addition subtraction those right abacus the abacus is often wrongly attributed to china in fact the oldest surviving abacus was used in 300 bc 300 before christ 300 and there they used abacus language by the uh, babylonians whose used this uh, babylonians are used uh, abacus language the abacus is still in use today principally in the far east for east or used to people are using abacus this is the abacus language 
So Abbas is in this Abacus language, or the uh, numbers are there. These numbers will be moved up to down to calculate uh, addition, subtraction, so, so to calculate moving up and down so, of these numbers. Okay, 300 BC they used without having any languages. They have to calculate addition, subtraction. They used Abacus language. This is the Abacus language, right? So in eight digit Pascal in language, <coughs> excuse me, another language is eight digit Pascal language. So this is language is also developed earlier. So this uh, how it calculated with the help of eight digits, eight digits are there. With the help of eight digits, uh, they calculated the language. This is another one. Six digit Pascal in language is also there. Six digits only they have. They have six digits, sir. Five and six. Sir. With the help of these six digits, so they have to move uh, the positions. Here are the positions. With the help of moving these positions, the additional additional subtraction should be done with the help of six digits. In the previous, we use eight digits. This is also using with the help of eight digits the moving of uh, digits. Sir. Uh, will be having to calculate our addition or subtraction. You may have to do uh, Pascal line inside. Pascal uh, the moving of Pascal line inside is the like this. This volts are the, when we move to the one position uh, to one uh, movement, and there the calculations is done here. If you move six, and the six positions will be added to the previous one. Likewise, they calculated something earliest in the languages. Afterwards, Charles Babbage, 1982, Charles Babbage is there, he was a scientist and uh, he, he was an English mathematician. Charles Babbage was, was proposed a steam driven calculating machine. What is that machine? Stream driven driven calculating machine he developed in 1982s okay so the size of a room room size this much of room size the system in early stages so he uh, which is he, he simply that called the uh, that machine is a deference engine this is the deference engine the Charles Babbage was uh, Created this in 1882. What is this engine? Deference engine. <coughs> Deference engine is simply called Deference. Deference engine. Okay, this is Deference engine with the help of that. Okay, so after that, uh, Hollery desk is there. Hollery desk is there. This is also a computer. In early stages. So here when uh, they have to calculate some information, they have to press the uh, whatever calculation is done. Unless this, like uh, this machine, they have to press. Okay. And next, uh, after that, uh, Hellerith built in a machine, a company, Hellerith. So that company is called IBM company. IBM company. So in IBM company, the tabulating machine company, IBM company is the tabulating machine company, after a few buyouts, eventually become international business machines. After a few things, it was eventually created a business of machines, international business machines, IBM, which is called international business machines, or today as IBM. That day, Developed by the machine. Next, <coughs> examples of punch cards is also there. Punch cards before introducing the language, punch cards there to punch something so that calculates automatically. Uh, see this here, they punch the punch like nice punch cards also there. With help of punch cards, also uh, we calculate something. So, this is what technology wherever you have to use, you punch it. Uh, the things here, okay. So, at the uh, punch of course, technology also you may uh, use in the early uh, stages. And next, Mark 1 computers. Mark 1 computers are there. 
for the Mahmud Emperor's one early success was Harvard Mark one Emperor's, which was built as a partnership between the Harvard and IBM in 1944. IBM systems and the Harvard were both collaborated and created uh, some <coughs> additional, uh, some more developing in the previous ones. So this was the first programmable digital computer made in the US. Mark one computer, first digital computer in the uh, universe, but it was not a popularly electronic component. Instead, the Mark I was constructed out of switches. How it constructed it with the switches, relays, rotating shifts, and uh, clutches with the help of see this Mark I computer. More clutches are there, more <coughs> rotating shifts, switches. If you give input to this machine, if we input at this particular time and you may have to get output from tomorrow. 24 hours which you take, other 12 hours which take, that will calculate. Okay, so uh, that system is also found and designed earlier. This Mark 1 system, machinery, Mark 1 system machinery. The machine was weighted 5 tons of machine, 5 ton cages. Okay, uh, incorporated 500 miles of wire. At that, at that, at much, that, that much time, at that much uh, um, valuable systems was eight feet tall and fifty-one feet long, and had fifty feet rotating shifts running its length, uh, tuning by five hours power electronic motor. Five, five hours power electronic motors also fitted for to designing these systems. Mark One ran non-stop for fifteen years for this. Uh, uh, which produce also more number of sounds huh? uh, as in one room. Okay, so that system Mark has uh, used 15 years. 15 years Mark used. After that, this is Mark one system. See, from here to here, the system, the whole system is uh, uh, having in one room lab. One room lab. Okay. So IBM Stitch system, 1959. In 1959, IBM straight systems are also there. So all these are systems you give input. So uh, half room, that is first of all uh, the Mark one system having occupies a room. Uh, somewhat better in 1959 they uh, have to <coughs> congest congestible information will be done with the NX system. NX system is there. So in this index, punch cards representation is there, giving programming representation, uh, NEX system. So connecting wires and giving programming in this machine, uh, and also programming, giving programming with the help of some another person. If one person gives uh, information, that person will give uh, uh, input to the system. Okay, replacing a vacuum in the NEX system. Uh, in the earlier stages, uh, they used vacuum tubes. What are those? Vacuum tubes they used. Okay. So, uh, if any vacuum tube has uh, broken, automatically they have to change with this, uh, replacing a bad vacuum tube. Okay. In the, the stored program computer in 1945, John Von Neumann at the time, from this time onwards, the, we have uh, completely uh, designed a system for a Comfortable stage so up to now. 1945, John Von Neumann presented his idea for a computer that would store computer instructions in a CPU. He gave an uh, instructions and with the help of CPU, he developed some memory, he developed some central processing unit in 1945. The central processing unit consisted of elements. What would control the computer? Well, Electronically, computer will be uh, used to control with the help of central processing unit. That central processing unit is developed by the John Von Neumann. He created central processing unit in 1945. 1945, right? It's the stored program computers. Stored program computers. Okay. <coughs> so the EDSAC, EDSAC, EDS, all these are stored program computers. So they used vacuum tubes, so they were too expensive. At the time they used vacuum tubes, huh? 
So for that they expense you two large household to own uh, one number of time also they have to take. Okay. So this is uh, another system. Okay. So in the previous generations, in the first generation of a compartment, they used vacuum tubes. They occupy more number of space. They has uh, more number of time to execute the program. Okay. Uh, they have to even if we give the input, we take so much of time in the generation one computers. Okay. So with this, we conclude. What are the different uh, syllabus available in our system? And after that, uh, we studied the previous generations of computers we used, first generation. Now, okay, so we have to see the second generations from the next process. Thank you.